Okay, folks, uh, let's go ahead and continue. In this lesson, we're going to be uh, trying and remodel the uh, basic structure of the room, basically the walls and the floor. Now, before doing this, what is important here, I think we've done a mistake because if you go to your camera calibra calibrator tag and take a look here, you can see the expanding point is uh, has turned <laughs> has turned yellow. And I guess we have uh, moved one of these axes here and uh, you can see the focal length is about 16 which is <coughs> not uh, right <coughs> excuse me which is not right at all and <coughs> right now what we can do is let's see what happened here exactly I think this is the problem here look at this point where it is actually let me put it on this point I'm just trying to get it right. So let's go ahead and now well, let's see. If it's actually gonna help. Yeah, not too bad actually. We can see if we can make it any better because it's sort of. Yeah, actually, now we are down to 003. Now it's better, and the focal length has back to 29.07. Great. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Now the next thing you need to do is to actually uh, create the um, camera mapping tag and create a background object. When you click on here, you can see there is a tag, which, uh, as you can see, a simple tag with this material been applied to and the projection set to camera mapping and if you get back to your uh, camera calibrator tag you can see there is this CAD the create background when you play that there is a background with this material a new material has been created as you can see with this uh, texture being applied to color channel and now you can basically start and uh, add uh, the uh, floor and the wall so let's uh, go ahead and take a look and I'm going to kind of really save this thing as we go. Let me zero two zero three. Great. And uh, so let's create the plane here. I'm just going to have one segments in each and every direction. And uh, let's go ahead and hit C. Go to the points. And I'm just trying to get maybe these points for the moment and see what we can do. I'm just trying to move them and trying to match those lines with the image and see what's going on here. Looks like we're going to have to uh, maybe move it here a bit more. So let's see, I think somewhere right here is right, we can actually control Z that. Okay, now let's name this our floor. We will definitely adjust them later on. We're just trying to uh, rebuild the basic structure here. So let's create a cube here. Let's change the X axis to something like 15 centimeter and let's go ahead and actually I'm trying to move this guy here and I think it wouldn't help if we actually try to make it as accurate as possible let's go select this cube and move it very precisely and now Let's just adjust its scale uh, and in this point I'm gonna just hit C so we can kind of simply adjust the points make sure you turn the only solid visible elements turned uh, off actually so let's go ahead and adjust this point 
and let's go ahead and I'm just uh, as I said it's not an exact science it's not a rocket science just try to kind of make sure these guys are matching perfectly and let me that's gonna be our right wall so and let's control drag to create a duplicate and that's gonna be our back wall and rotate it and let's try to make this thing again I'm just adjusting really nothing too special moving the points and lines and let's just go ahead and okay not too bad let's go ahead and do this for this side also and now let's simply control drag this wall to this side and that's gonna be our uh, left wall maybe F or far and you know what one problem that we need to solve it right away the uh, this guys I'm just going to actually select all of these guys go to mesh axis center axis center and make sure they are down on Y and I'm just going to adjust the Y position so they sit on the floor now that's great and at the same time I'm going to select the points for all of these guys and sort of move them up a bit so they sort of okay <laughs> great now let's see what we can do with this left wall here I'm just going to select this uh, actually let's select the whole thing and move it a bit and now I just go ahead and select these points so we're basically trying to see what we can do uh, with these lines and use these images okay it's sort of a bit hard to see if you select this camera calibration tag and sort of you can see what's going on here if you disable uh, this sort of enable this keep in foreground so let's go ahead and maybe we can move it until it sort of matches with this wall here I think it's not too bad let's uh, go ahead and again create a duplicate from uh, this guy here and I am trying to move this thing as long as it is okay I'm, I'm trying to see if there is any problem okay now so we sort of have this and I can basically select this and I assume this wall to be a bit longer now um, let's see what we have here as you can see now we have everything I just rename this thing to N and then I'm just going to select all of them and hit alt G and this is gonna be our, our walls okay whatever uh, you name it and now we can simply control drag this tag to this null and now all of these children all of these children has this exact same tag and you can sort of see what's going on if I change this thing to rotating lines for example you can see the lines and see if they are kinda accurate or not and um, we sort of have a few problems as you can see especially these guys here so I'm going to select all of them and go to the points select these points and I'm just trying to 
adjust them so they sort of get their bit better as you can see now this side is matching that side not exactly matching and we have to possibly adjust those late later on so let's see what we can do I'm just going to actually adjust these uh, points a bit more until I get them and I'll uh, you know get back to you okay Okay, now let's uh, actually continue and uh, I sort of adjusted a bit of these guys. I moved this whole null a bit down as you can see about negative 11 and uh, just moved some points around and now what we have here is this. It's not going to be really accurate, you know, you really have to kind of, for example, look at this corner, it's not matching, but uh, if we had, for example, the exact focal length of the camera, we would have no problem, but for the moment we just have to go through with what we have and if we uh, see the need we can actually adjust it later on now I'm just going to uh, s very quickly uh, kind of uh, see what I have right now let me just uh, save this scene really uh, quickly uh, for this I'm just going to create a quick sphere and see how the dynamic actually works on this guy so let me go to something like maybe 10 centimeters I'm just simply getting MoGraph alt uh, hold alt down click on the cloner and now let's go ahead to something like a grid array Let's go to six, maybe on different axes. I'll put it up a bit and we can come down and try to sort of see what's going on here. I'm just going to right click simulation tags and click on rigid body tag. And for here, simulation tags, collider body. And make sure you turn this inherit tag to apply tag to children. Now, if I actually I'm going to my render setting and add ambient occlusion, that will help us to see a bit of you know really what's going on. So if I actually let's make this guy about 200 frames, I'm just going to hit play and see what's going on. Okay, let's render, and uh, you can see this corner is really great. This one is not, and let me just check on my camera again. 